All right, I'm here with Jamie. Jamie, tell us who you are and what you do over at SkyDrive. Sure. Um, so I'm a product marketing manager, um, and we're recently we're about to release uh, OCR, um, optical character recognition powered by Bing. And uh, basically, our team is really excited about this, and I wanted to do a demo and kind of give people an idea of how it works in person. Very cool. cool. So how does this work? Sure. Um, so my family lives across the country, um, mm -hmm. but they also happen to like artwork. Um, so one of the ways that I try to stay in touch with them is I try to take pictures of the artwork that we have hanging on campus and send it to them. We've got a lot of it. We do indeed. Um, and, and since I have a Windows phone, um, it auto-uploads to SkyDrive in the cloud. Um, so I'm actually going to pull that up and show you. I'm um, going to my camera roll folder. Um, so this is a picture that I, I took a while back. Um, and then also for a little bit of added context, I took a picture of the art label associated with it. Um, and you'll note here on the right-hand side in the info pane um, that the OCR technology actually extracted the text from the photo. Um, and that extracted text string is actually stored in the metadata of the photo. And um, what did you have to do to get it to do this? It's actually entirely automatic. Um, it works in your camera roll, though. Um, so any, any photo that is uploaded to SkyDrive um, via your phone or the, the camera roll you have on your 8.1 device, mm -hmm. it'll automatically run OCR in there. And if you have text in there, it'll extract it. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so as I said, it's, it's stored in the metadata. Um, in, in the analog world, uh, metadata is you know, stuff you might write on the back of a printed photo, um, just to you know, remember. In the digital world, it's the same idea. Um, it's stuff like you know dimensions of the photo, the device it was taken on, and so forth. And now, obviously, includes the extracted text. Um, and so, really, there's when I think about OCR and what you can do with it, there's there's two two major things. One is the very the very obvious scenario in which you just copy and paste this text. Yeah. Um, so to go back to the art label, um, you know, my grandma doesn't have the the best eyesight in the world. Um, so rather than sending her this picture, which is you know not not super straight, has a little bit of glare on it. I can actually just send over the picture of the artwork and then copy and paste that text into the body of the email. Very cool. Um, the other really cool thing that OCR does is, as I said, since the extracted text is stored in the metadata, it actually makes these photos uh, searchable. So I actually show you how that works right now. Um, so I'm, I'm navigating to the uh, modern 8.1 SkyDrive app. Um, and basically, this syncs uh, with the cloud as well. So everything that I take on my Windows phone, auto-uploaded to SkyDrive, and then is also synced um, to this app. Um, so for the sake of this example, let's imagine you know, it's six months in the future. Uh, I can't really remember where I was or when I was when I took the picture. I just remember something about surreal art. Um, yeah. So instead of digging through my camera roll manually, I can actually search for the file. I just click Search here. Um, you'll note that as I start to type, um, it actually narrows down the queries. So it's, it's, a, it's a live search. And then it pulls open uh, this result here. Um, and what you just saw is, in the search results, it actually was just the thumbnail and the metadata. Um, the reason for that is that SkyDrive is powered by smart files. Um, so my camera roll is actually not all stored locally. Um, it's, it's marked for online access only. Um, but the moment that I selected the file, it actually pulled the full version down um, from SkyDrive. So here you so see the full version. So it's kind of like a marker that points to the, the file in the cloud. Exactly. And um, the smart file, when it's not actually on your machine, it's called hydration, where it pulls it down from that's, the cloud. That's exactly correct. Yeah, the idea is that people you know, have ever-increasing data needs. Um, yeah. And depending yeah. on their device, they may not have enough space for it. Mm -hmm. um, so we give them a way. It actually just like stores the necessary information for the file locally. Um, and then when they select it, it, it pulls the information that they need from the cloud. Great. And so how does it work? Yes, the, the magic <laughs> question. Um, so basically what it does uh, is when you upload a photo to your camera roll, the OCR engine kicks in, um, and it runs some pixel recognition algorithms and looks for patterns in the pixels. But yeah, it, so it, it separates uh, into basically the foreground and the background. Um, and in the foreground, it, it looks for you know, shapes that it associates with a given letter. Um, and the great thing about OCR is that it, it uses context clues to complete the word. Um, so for example, if it recognizes a W, uh, a blurry round letter, and then T-E-R, um, mm -hmm. it'll say, you know, that letter could either be an O or an A. But given the context, you know, we're going to assume probably rightfully that it's, you know, the word water and fill that in. Yeah. Um, so in this example, as you can see, you know, I didn't, the picture's not totally straight. There's a little yeah. bit of glare and such. Um, but because OCR is flexible, um, it, it, you know, it pulled the text all the same. I like that. It even got the line breaks. Yep. That was quite nice. Yeah. And so could I scan, like, uh, if, I, if I type a letter on an old typewriter or something, I could take a picture of it and it would scan the text? Yep. Totally Receipts? Correct. Yep. Everything? I, I mean, I don't want to say <laughs> everything. Recipes? I'm probably getting, uh, yeah. getting in trouble for that. Um, I would say, yeah, like business cards or something that I think is really useful. I, you know, I'd like to take pictures of business cards, but yeah. I may forget 
you know, I may remember the guy's name or their position, but not necessarily all the details. So I just type in one of the things that I remember. It'll pull up the picture of the business card. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. I love the idea. Recipes, that. as you said, also yeah. very useful. Or to your point about, you know, the typewriter. Any, yeah. any favorite quotes, book passages, things like that? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because if I'm reading a book, I could just take a picture of the page and it would always be there. I could search it later. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get in legal trouble for, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sure. for, for advocating potential copyright infringement, but yeah. I meant take a picture of the Channel 9 post. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So how does someone get this? Um, well, all you need is a SkyDrive account um, and a camera roll folder, which you can get with either your Windows phone or with an 8.1 device. Um, so it auto-uploads photos from either of those sources uh, to the camera roll folder in SkyDrive, and then the rest you know, is magic, so to speak. It just happens. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us this. Thank you very much.